Okay, so here she is. This is my area of great anxiety. Um, trying to go through all this stuff and get rid of, let's say, 90% of it. Because a lot of it is just stuff over the years I've just shoved there. Um, and you can see that down there, there, and there, and there, I've actually gone through and cleaned everything else. Now I actually have an open shelf. And this one really just has my pens and my book and a box of Kleenex. So I do have stuff that I have to keep, like all those magazines down there, because they're actually journals for my profession. But I'm trying to just clean the rest of it out. But what I find myself doing is finding things like these that I know I want to hang on to, but I don't know what I want to do with them so I can put extra cords in them. So I just keep putting them like right there. And I'll address it when I get to that spot. And then I get to that spot and I'm like, hey, I'll throw it down there. How do you manage that? Hey Maria, so thank you for the video of your shelf. I think that so many people can relate to this and I'm gonna to try to find a way to uh, incorporate your video and my video maybe into a blog post sometime because I think this will be really helpful for people. So here's what you need to do with your shelf. You need to take a step back from this and you need to get a piece of paper and a marker and I want you to write two words on the paper, vision and purpose, okay? And I want you to think, close your eyes and think, what is your vision for this shelf? If it looked exactly the way you wanted it to look, what would it look like? And if you walked in and you looked at it, how would you feel ideally when you looked at the shelf? So vision is just what it looks like, but it's also how you feel when you look at it, okay? And jot down whatever comes to mind on the vision. And then the second thing you need to do is address the purpose, okay? That's really important with this because what you have right now is sort of a catch-all shelf. And I want you to get really clear about how you want to use this shelf. What is it for? Why do you have it? and write down the purposes of the shelf on the piece of paper. Then you're gonna tape that piece of paper to a wall to keep you honest for the next steps. And the next step is empty everything off the shelf. So I'm taking you through my last method if you haven't figured out. So L is lay out the vision and purpose, E is empty. Empty everything off the shelf, and then you're gonna to go to the first S, which is sort it twice. And that first sort, I want you to put it into like with like piles. So books together, pens together, nail clippers together, all the stuff with its buddies. Then you're gonna do the second sort, which is a decision sort. What do you wanna keep? What do you need to trash? What should go to donate? What should go somewhere else in the house? And if there's anything you wanna sell, put that in a sell pile. Okay, so you're gonna do the decision sort next. Once you've done that decision sort, what you should be left with, and you've taken the trash out, put the donations in your car, put the elsewhere items where else they go, and set the sell items aside to sell if you're gonna sell anything, then you're just left with the keepers. And then you're gonna do the last S of the last, met last method, which is systemize, which means organize, and you're gonna put it back in a way that is systemized and organized. So maybe you need to have some bins or baskets with labels on them for what kinds of things are allowed in that bin or basket. So we don't have just empty open shelves that can be used for whatever, right? This shelf is for books. This shelf is for paper products. This shelf is for pens and scissors. This shelf is for Electronics, it doesn't matter, but you systemize it when you put it back, making it really clear what belongs where. Okay, so that's my last method in a nutshell. L is lay out your vision and purpose. E is empty, S, sort it twice. First into like with like, then decision, and the last S is systemize. This shelf just needs a good old last method, girl, and it will be awesome. So I would love to know um, if you have questions about that and also how it goes once you do that.